Hey guys, we are at the shop to oh, today. We got a package from China. Uh, we think we thought this was the board for the DTF printer. It That's is. what we're waiting on. Oh, it, it is. It is. It's not. I don't know what else they sent. So shout out to my partners. Um, or like we say in Houston. My partners. My partners. Shout out to, what the heck is that? So this is the board for the DTF printer. And then we also got a new screen for this shaker because it is out, which is that right there. We got some spray moisturizing liquid. But this was supposed to be sent separate. Well, yeah, so this. Uh, You're so confused. Try, Huh? You're so confused. I'm so confused. This is so <laughs> crazy because this ain't supposed to be here. This That screen on that shaker is broken. They sent me out this, the screen for that, and they said it was going to be sent separate. They were only supposed to send out, I mean, I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Hill. They sent me out this right here. So if you guys don't know, our printers have, and that's the old style, the new style is blue. Our printers have a wet cap solution. So they claim that they put this into the new Epson printer. I don't know. This technology has been out for a very long time. So our printers have um, a wet cap solution. You sit a little hose down there. You put this down in there and it keeps the, your print head wet because we didn't have this printer running for like two months. And I brought it back to life because I'm that guy. But we, um, this solution right here, as you leave your printer on, it stirs the white for you. It um, auto white recirculates. And if you have this solution, which we didn't, um, that's my fault. In there, it'll always keep your, your cap wet. This way, if you're not running cycles on your printer, or in this case, if your board is down and you can't necessarily print, then it'll at least keep your print head clean and white uh, from the bottom in the capping station. And then also clean, circulate the white through. So any, anybody else's printer would have, two months of not working, would have been shut down. But this right here, um, it didn't take two months to get here. It only took like four or five days to get here but that was after we figured out what the heck was going on. And it took a while to figure out everything, but we are all set, so. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. You know how to do that. I know how to do it. Michael, if you're watching this, please. I'm sending a smoke signal for rescue. Help, help. <laughs> help, help. Help, help. Even if I don't know how to do it, I'm gonna figure it out. Don't mess it up. I'm gonna figure it out. Okay. Check back in. Hi right, guys, welcome back to a full video. I've made this video also vertical as well. Um, so I'm gonna swap out my main board. So what happened was we had a storm here about two months ago after everything that's been going on, traveling back and forth. The, we figured out it's the main board after testing and everything. So I have to swap it out. What happened was it was hooked up through the storm, power went out. We thought our battery bank from Amazon would save it. That thing only lasts about 30 minutes. So something happened and it popped the board Everything else on the printer works except for forward and reverse. I can't advance the film forward or reverse. So now we got a new board. I'm gonna show you guys how to swap it out. It's super simple. First thing you wanna do whenever you make sure you get your board is make sure that your new board matches. So here's the new board right here. And it is an identical, it is identical. Boom, 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 super easy. Everything matches, everything's set up like it's supposed to go. So that's good because you don't want like a different board, then you're gonna be at a commission for even longer. So all I did was come through and pick each thing off. It's super easy, nothing's too hard. This one and this one are gonna be the hardest. I'm gonna actually have to pull the board out a little bit to give myself some, um, a little bit of slack. This ribbon had some glue on it. I don't know if yours, like see this glue right here? This glue right here, you can kind of see it. Um, this, this goes right here, I think, and this one goes right here. Also, take pictures of, of your board the way that it was. I did. Did you take pictures? Of course I did, and I got video. So I took pictures before. This is why I put it back correct, because you don't want to, you swap any of these things, and you could do some other damage. But be careful with this ribbon. Mine had, like, super glue. I mean, not super glue, like, hot glue on it. And um, it, was a, it, it wasn't too bad to get it off, but I was able to lift the hot glue off and pull the ribbon out. Outside of that, it's just four screws. One, two, three, four. And it's going to come out. So I got Chelly here. She's gonna help me. Well, now that she's filming, I can take my second hand, unscrew it and hold the board and basically just pull it out except for these two things. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I've already pulled out two screws. Come in a little more. Pull out this screw right here. I'm gonna hold it with my finger. Okay. Cause it's gonna wanna sag once I pull this one out. So I'll hold it. See how it wants to sag a little bit. Okay. This right here is magnetized. Oh, Lord. Okay, 
in like a really weird position. Kind of pull this out. That's not that bad. These wires are kind of keeping it in. Now that I have a little room, I can pull out the ethernet cord. I'm gonna pull that back here. Come on, buddy. Almost all the way out. There's like barely any room. It's very tight space. Damn, he's eating that. Oh, there we go. Pulled that out. Now we got that one out. Pull this one out here. These just pull out. Come on, buddy. Just kind of squeeze and pull. Got one out. Don't be alarmed. There we go. Okay. So we got the board out. Now I'm going to swap the new one. And I'm going to start with these two things. Don't get them swapped up. So here, top and bottom. All right. So I got the new board. And I wanted to check, thank God that they mark it. Number two goes in the bottom. So I just had to watch the video and check that. It wasn't really shown in the picture. And then number two goes in the bottom. Nope, oh, I'm putting it in the wrong way. Look at that, like this. So there's a little notch right there, a little notch. You guys can see that. That's gonna slide in right here. So number two goes in the bottom. Slide this buddy in, be very gentle. Boom, clicked in, slide this one here. Make sure this one's in. Slide this one in. Come on, buddy. There we go. All right, that <laughs> took a little bit. All right, now we wanna make sure all these are on the outside. So I'm gonna slide it into my ethernet port. Give it some, uh, make it a little rigid. And then we're just gonna look at the pictures and make sure everything is good. Push it back here a little bit. Remember this ethernet cord had to, had to be installed a little funny. There we go. There we go. All right, I'm gonna wait to hear the click of the ethernet port. All right, got that. Now it's kind of holding itself. Okay, now it's time to start putting the screws back. Now that those things are kind of holding everything in, I'll just give myself one screw pretty lined up right here. Actually, I'll get myself one over here since this one wants to sag. Great, I'm in there and I'll do one opposite to keep it aligned. Now mind you, this is turned off and unplugged so that you know that. I've unplugged it here and it turned off and turned off here. So I just wanna push this down to kind of align it. And it's also unplugged from my computer to the ethernet. I need to plug that back in. Okay, so these ones, this one goes, I think, here at the bottom. I forgot, I think this one goes here on the left, but just to make sure, I'm gonna go look at my thing, but obviously you know where this one goes. Easy, we know where these one, this goes on the right. You don't wanna swap these, because if you swap these, your your down button will be your left button, and your all your uh, buttons on the front will be, put that back there. Obviously the ribbon goes right here, that's super easy. Be very gentle though with the rib with the ribbon. Make sure I slide this in. There's very tight tolerance with this ribbon. That's the thing about ribbons too, you're not gonna get a click. It's either in or not. Make sure, yeah. This one right here, boom, that's there. Okay, and I'm pretty sure this is here, and I'm gonna have I'm gonna check with Shelly, and then I'm gonna try to push this ribbon in. So I'm gonna look at my picture, make sure that this one's here to the left, uh, push in my ribbon a little more, and then we'll come back and turn it on, see if everything works. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if it, let's see if it works. Release our thing. That's gonna allow power to it. It's already plugged in, turn it on. That's a good sign. Nothing, <laughs> nothing is a good sign. Not we bursting need, uh, into flames. Initializing, so if we want it to go left and right. And when it's all done, if I press down, if it moves the film forward, then we then then it works. If not, up, oh, it went left and right. Okay. Moment of truth. Will it advance the film? It works! Yeah, good job, it works! Honey, good job. It works. We did now it. we can advance the film and print. Go back to uh I'll do a cleaning. Let's make sure everything works. Good job. Yay! So that was the issue. It wasn't able to advance the film, and now it is. Now we go back to printing, doing all types of stuff. Uh, Dev Studio. We're back in uh, back in bin. Let's I do the vertical. You. Yeah, let's do the vertical. But that's gonna be it for this video, guys. You guys know everything else. Oh, Whoa. excuse me. Oh. Uh -oh. oh. What's it saying? Cleaning the head. 
That's good. Oh, yeah, but it's messing up. Why? It's having to relearn everything. So we're showing you guys the truth. This is what happened. We're celebrating, but things are still happening. Celebrating happen. too early. Celebrating too early, yes. I don't like that. It shouldn't be doing that. Well, she's trying to understand yeah, the She's trying to more. measure and learn everything again. Because you don't want a head strike. All right, so let's do another, let's do another cleaning. Let's pull this down. You know what? Let's make sure left works. Okay, left works. Okay. Film is nice and straight. Let's do another cleaning. Okay. Make sure nothing hits. Now remember, we have to bring our white heads back. Let's show them how far we've come. Oh, that ain't good. Okay, so that has to be adjusted. That has to be adjusted. Okay, so the new capping station is not adjusted properly and it needs to be adjusted so that it can just go right over and just clean the thing. So I need to change that. The parameters from the, from the last main board are different. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna adjust that, figure that out and uh, knock that out. So that's gonna be it for this video. Stay tuned for the next one. We're back printing and stuff like that, but let me go ahead and fix this.